Today is September the 16th. My name is Hunter, and we are on a journey into the loving heart of God. We meet here each day on this podcast to read from Scripture, to reflect, and to pray. We begin our reading in Psalm 113. Then we go to Ezekiel chapter 2, verses 17 through 31. And we will finish in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 39. Psalm 113. Praise the Lord. Yes, give praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord now and forever. Everywhere from east to west, praise the name of the Lord. For the Lord is high above the nations. His glory is higher than the heavens. Who can be compared with the Lord our God? Who is enthroned on high? He stoops down to look on heaven and earth. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. He gives the childless woman a family, making her a happy mother. Ezekiel 22 Then this message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, the people of Israel, are the worthless slag that remains after silver is smelted. They are the dross that is left over a useless mixture of copper, tin, iron, and lead. So tell them, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. Because you are all worthless slag, I will bring you to my crucible in Jerusalem. Just as silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin are melted down in a furnace, I will melt you down in the heat of my fury. I will gather you together and blow the fire of my anger upon you, and you will melt like silver in fierce heat. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have poured out my fury on you. Again a message came to me from the Lord. Son of man, give the people of Israel this message. In the day of my indignation, you will be like a polluted land, a land without rain. Your princes plot conspiracies, just as lions stalk their prey. They devour innocent people, seizing treasures and extorting wealth. They make many widows in the land. Your priests have violated my instructions and defiled my holy things. They make no distinction between what is holy and what is not. And they do not teach my people the difference between what is ceremonially clean and unclean. They disregard my Sabbath days so that I am dishonored among them. Your leaders are like wolves who tear apart their victims. They actually destroy people's lives for money and your prophets cover up for them by announcing false visions and making lying predictions, they say, My message is from the Sovereign Lord, when the Lord hasn't spoken a single word to them. Even common people oppress the poor, rob the needy, and deprive foreigners of justice. I look for someone who might rebuild the wall of righteousness that guards the land. I search for someone to stand in the gap in the wall so that I wouldn't have to destroy the land, but I found no one. So now I will pour out my fury on them, consuming them with the fire of my anger. I will heap on their heads the full penalty for all their sins. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken. Romans 8 What shall we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one. For God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us, and he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. K. 
Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? Or are persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, For your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither fears for today nor worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying to the people of God. Amen. And now let us take some time for silent prayer and reflection. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin or be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh Lord, grant that I may not seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in the giving that we receive, it is in the pardoning that we are pardoned, it is in the dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your grateful children, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world through our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, 
give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but with our lives, by giving up ourselves for your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. And now as our Lord has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let me invite you to join us for tomorrow's podcast. We meet each day to journey together into the loving heart of God. You can also join our other podcast, The Daily Radio Bible, where we journey through the entire Bible over the course of a year. But more than that, what we desire most is to experience and have an encounter with the God who is love. Find out more at dailyradiobible.com. The music for this podcast was provided by the artist and composer David Neveu. Find out more about his music at davidneveu.com. And now let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. All righty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.